That's why on my third build, that is the only one that I didn't do. That's why I put back that balance shaft system on there. I have experience not having a balance shaft system on this block and I never liked it. Yeah. You can feel that a humming sound like uh, a cold, on a cold start. I always think that they put the balance shaft system for a reason on this block. They said it's only for driver's comfort, but who knows? And also, uh, I'm gonna add up, that is the key <laughs> to the success of my G23. I'm not opening a debate here. That's just through my experience. I said if I ever going to delete my balance shaft, I am going to use a dampener. What we're talking about here is reliability. Something that you could enjoy. Not something that always breaks. Yeah, that's the thing. That is the key, is reliability. Uh, performance and reliability, <laughs> they don't come together, but they can coexist. Only if you follow some guidelines. Yeah, you know what? That would be a good topic. Yeah, this reliability and performance that all comes together. <laughs> yeah, I'll come up with something. Man, finally, the part is here. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Sagitnet 2. You have seen it in the introduction. That was uh, about a year ago when I was talking about uh, when I deleted my balance shaft on one of my motor and I never did like it. So uh, this is part of my ongoing uh, research and development on the G23 project. I have said that the only way I am going to uh, delete a balance shaft is when I'm going to use one of these. And the part is here, finally. It's been a long time. I know I've been running this motor for quite some time now. Like I think about six months or so uh, from NA and I put a turbo on it and still I don't have one of these. You know when you have a project like this, uh, parts break in and you have funds set aside on one part but ended up going someplace and yeah i finally pulled the trigger and finally got it this is actually one of the two parts that i wanted to put on a g23 the other one is this this is the uh, inexpensive uh, quick release clamp for a intercooler charge piping. Yeah, I have tried it and uh, it didn't work out as good as I want it to be. And I have learned that uh, this one requires a little bit of uh, math and science <laughs> to install one of these. Yeah, from what my experience. And one way or another, I am going to perfect this. Uh, just to give you a hint, if you are running a lot of boost pressure, this will work out fine. For something like uh, 10 PSI or something, this is not good. Unless you install this correctly. Don't let this inexpensive uh, part fool you. I mean, you could interchange the o-rings and all that and it will work as fine. But like I said, uh, I will perfect this one way or another. Maybe someday I will explain one of these whenever I get it to use or install one of these and I'll explain it more, I guess. But not on this uh, episode. Uh, this is all about part of the uh, balance shaft delete. And later on, I will get more data before I put this on the motor, which is using a glass and a water. We're gonna see the motion of the water just to check how much vibration this motor creates. They said that the balance shaft system is designed for driver's comfort. Uh, even though the damper that I have is not designed for that, 
I still wanted to use it. Uh, do I really need it? Uh, yes. It's because of part of my ongoing uh, research on the G23. I just want to perfect it. Like on the introduction, you know, can you get performance and reliability on a G23 at the same time? And I have said it, they can coexist, especially on high RPM. For people that wanted to have like 8,000 RPM on their G23, which is not designed to, uh, to go past 7,000 anyway, but the motor can rev up to that. I mean, I have experienced it on this one. And if I didn't uh, swap from uh, 82, to 63, this thing would have been revving 8,000 RPM. I know it. I mean, it'll be just like that. Would it make power 8,000 RPM? Absolutely. I have experienced that. So for some guys that uh, wanted to know if the G23 can rev past 7,000, yes, it can. No problem. As long as you have good parts supporting on it. Uh, this is just my opinion. I know some of you guys that have your, your balance system deleted and you never had any uh, discomfort driving it. Uh, some of you probably been hearing or noticing something, but you know, with all the high RPM and everything, and you just forget all about it. You know, you, you just never care of it. Um, on the first motor that I have, I have experienced something on a cold idle where I thought it sounded like I'm grinding my... Uh, my teeth or something and then on this one from NA to turbocharge when I'm shifting from first gear all the way to fourth gear 1000 to 3000 rpm it doesn't feels like it's a engine with a manual transmission it always felt like I'm driving a automatic engine yeah that's what it feels like but as soon as I shift on fifth gear no problem and and from first all the way to fifth gear above 3000 rpm no problem there it's not there and it's not just me i have a passenger one time that uh, she mentioned that why it sounded like this but on fifth gear no problem it all canceled out i opened this earlier i have to make sure that all the parts are here and it is I didn't know that uh, this comes all in pieces I have to put this together and this is the hub this is for the power steering this is plus for me since I uh, run a power steering on this G23 and it comes with all these bolts they said T40 plus I'm not sure if my torch is a plus but if I have to get a part, so be it. Just to prevent it from stripping. And this is the start of the show. Right here. Super damper. Yeah, I can't wait to put this on. <laughs> I only have one slight problem. I don't have a proper tools to put this on. But now that I've seen this come in pieces, I thought of something I could use to uh, to install this. I'm going to heat this up. Not with a torch, no. But no worries. Uh, it won't hurt this part. One way or another, I'm going to put this on. And I'll worry about the, the removal and installation tool when it comes to removing this. No problem here. Give me a few moments and uh, I'm going to uh, start the engine and warm it up to a normal operating temperatures and we'll collect more data. And I'll be back. Radiator fan is on and the temperature is 181 degrees. That should be good enough. I'm not really sure if the camera can pick up how much it vibrates.
second is here. Lastly, we'll be on the mounts. So far this is the highest vibration indications that I have seen so far compared to the uh, cabin and on the other side. So, so after I have put that damper on, this is the best place to put on this glass of water. Okay, that should be good enough uh, data. Let me turn it off. Hundred eighty one. 